with foldable smartphone technology right around the corner and a lot of people anticipating the fold from Samsung along with the X um, from Huawei a lot of people are looking to dish out around two thousand dollars on one side people are claiming that the device of the foldables will give you a lot of features that weren't available before but if the other side was to argue that these devices such as these chewy high nine pros that are 8.4 inches that can also give you uh, access to your mobile network while making phone calls and multitasking as well as a lot of ton of other features well let's talk about it right here and i'll show you my performance so far with the chewy high nine pro the Chewy Hi9 Pro was extremely lightweight, easy to hold in the hand, and it did have that TPU case on the back just in case I was traveling. I found it very easy to hold in one hand, and I, as long as I had one hand free, I was able to access anything I wanted on the go with the Chewy Hi9 Pro with the 4G LTE on Metro by T-Mobile and 4G on Cricket Wireless. So I was getting LTE on Metro by T-Mobile and I was quite surprised, just to say the least, when I put my SIM card in on both networks. It was quite smooth and the overall performance, I didn't have any gropes, belly aches, or complaints whatsoever. I mean, this thing looked really good in direct sunlight, no matter what place I was at, especially because of the ultra thin panel that they actually put to actually help you transmit light when you're in an outdoor environment so i didn't have any problem whatsoever with the visibility outdoors let's take a look at the cameras and see how those came out with some of the pictures but it's nothing to actually call home about to mom but we did get some good performance now here are some of the samples from the rear camera which is an 8 megapixel here's the 5 megapixel on the front and you can see that the Chewy High 9 Pro takes some pretty decent shots for the price range being at $139 outdoors. And with some good light, you can see here these shots aren't bad whatsoever. I wouldn't post them on social media, but just to capture some quick memories, I would definitely say this is actually a good camera. Now for the video on the 8 megapixel, I mean, I wasn't you know disappointed whatsoever for the you got to remember the price tag of 139.99 um for a 8.4 inch device which isn't even really you're buying for the cameras you're buying it for that large 2k panel um you know these these cameras are actually pretty decent you can capture some good shots even in low light right here now let's just take it to outdoors and you can see right here there's no real auto stabilization or anything like that but you can see right here these cameras when you when you uh, turn the angle, the, the uh, sensor was actually picking up the um, light and changing that, which was pretty cool and adjusting to the surroundings. So I gotta say, you know, that the, it was recording on 1080p in the back and here's recording in 720 right now. And you know, that, that, that quality footage isn't bad, just to say the least, you know, I'm not disappointed with that. That's actually a lot clearer than a lot of smartphones. Um, front-facing cameras even in 2019 so you can see right here the rear camera is actually decent you can see I'm trying to get some auto um, focus right here on some of these shots uh, and you can see right here you know it's actually doing a pretty decent job well how was my day-to-day -day experience using the software well the software was really smooth you did get the Google feed right here on deck it also a really smooth app drawer which popped up immediately. Um, I did install my favorite lawn chair application which was for the launcher which actually ran really smooth. You can see that the uh, device ran really good on portrait and landscape and on social media. So you can see right here I'm on Facebook and I'm actually toggling through some of the feeds and you can see that the 4G speeds were actually really efficient. Um, it's actually really good speeds and I was quite impressed when I was looking at social media and just toggling through and looking at that beautiful 2K 
display panel. That Quad HD display panel was really sharp, especially when you wanted to watch movie, YouTube, or anything like that. So I was quite impressed, honestly, just to say the least, that you can actually go ahead and even uh, access the Google Maps application. So if you were using this in your car, you could actually attach the GPS system. Just go right ahead and proceed to your destination. So I was quite impressed, just to say the least, with the multitasking option that you did get right on deck. Let's jump into some of the performance as far as gaming. And you can see PUBG was actually one of the games that I was quite uh, comfortable with. It was really enjoyable. And even though you know that screen was huge i was able to actually play PUBG on the chewy highline pro so i was quite impressed with the overall gaming performance on PUBG. i was actually able to win a few chicken dinners and even play some of my favorite games on here such as asphalt 9. so it was really cool that i was able to access asphalt 9 and play on the graphics here you can see are really looking really smooth there's no drop frames and everything looked really smooth on the gameplay so honestly i could say that the gameplay held up really nicely and the overall performance of this device held up really smooth so there wasn't any complaints uh, when I actually was using it for gaming on any high-end graphic intensive games everything was running really nicely so I can honestly say that just to say the least I could highly recommend the Chewy i9 Pro so if you're gonna be gaming or if you want to game on the go on the 4G network on AT&T, T-Mobile, Cricket Wireless, I can honestly say you're going to experience a really good performance when it comes to the Chewy High Night Pro. So I'm not sure why a lot of phone companies are coming out with devices that fold in half and give you four inch displays and then jump into an eight inch display when you can honestly get one that is eight inches all the time. When it came to watching video on the Chewy i9 Pro on YouTube, the LCD IPS display, which was 359 pixels per inch capacitive multi-touch um, panel, which had 2.5D curved glass with full lamination technology, it was no joke. You also got 73 screen to body, so the, the, the bezels were actually pretty narrow. Also, I was able to make phone calls whenever I wanted to, and and get incoming phone calls anywhere I was at depending on what you wanted to do you can also see that the geek um, the geek um, benchmark for right here you can actually see that um, I was quite impressed with the scores that I was getting for the the geek bench for so right here you can see right here uh, single score 1748 and 4255 wow that was really impressive that was honestly the highest score i've ever received on any budget device i've ever tested so this actually is uh, gonna be a really high performer and um you're also getting a, a deca core uh, system inside of here so that's actually when you get two 2.1 gigahertz cortex a72 processors plus another four one point a5 Cortex A53 processors plus another four 1.4 Cortex A53 processors. It comes with a MediaTek Helio X20 chipset, which is MT6797. Let's test out some of the sound quality. Finally, the Chewy Hi9 Pro tablet offers a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which lasts about seven to eight hours uh, screen on time when you're using it straight through. So if you're using this uh, nonstop for gaming or video, it's gonna last you about seven to eight hours straight. But if you're actually just using the Chewy Hi9 Pro moderately throughout the day, you're going to get through the whole day 24 hours without any problem whatsoever. Um, so honestly, I could say that the overall build quality, sound performance was good. Um, the display was actually phenomenal. So the speaker system was actually pretty decent as well. And so were the cameras. They were good as well. Overall, this device offered a lot of good 
features and functionalities that you can use and it's actually a unique and unorthodox device because it's giving you 8.4 inches to use versus a lot of devices today which are actually six to, uh, inches and under so if you're actually looking for a really great experience when it comes to watching video content social media or just browsing through the um day-to-day -day tasks that you do on a regular basis and you wanted the additional option to get phone calls on 4g lte i can definitely recommend the chewy high 9 pro now if you guys found this helpful definitely hit the like button tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below and in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are have a great night i'll see you guys on the next video peace